enforce their own particular favored brands of sexualization on our stories or on our, our fictions, on our mythology, basically. And there's a lot of problems with this. There's a lot of problems with this that ultimately is, I think, indicative of a psychosis. There's something wrong in their heads. And I'm not talking about sexual orientations here. I'm talking about something at a deeper level. <clears throat> so we'll get to that in a second. In terms of, uh, and, you know, as I say in the, uh, the, the title there, stop sexualizing everything, because that's really what it amounts to. The, the, the woke ideologues don't want to call it that. They don't want to call it. No, they're not sexual. They're, they're raising awareness. You know, no, no, they're sexualizing just as much as some dirty pervert wants to, to get their jollies by, by thinking about Smurfette while watching Smurfette cartoons. <laughs> it's no different. It's no different. It just happens to be a different orientation doing it. You know, it, it is really, it's just as sick. So uh, there, there are two types. There are two types of ways to approach this. The, the first type is is pretty um, pretty similar to people trying to enforce diversity in something like Lord of the Rings or, or He-Man or something like that. These are the people who are calling for, uh, they want, you know, Sam and Frodo to be gay. They want, you, know, you remember, these are the people that were calling for Captain America and the Winter Soldier to be gay. Marvel, you need to make them gay for representation purposes. Now, these are the people that now want the Falcon and Winter Soldier to be gay. You need to make them gay for representation purposes and everything. These are no different than the people who are calling for this or that famous established character who's already white or, or some you know established uh, ethnicity and, and the, the for diversity points, somebody calling for them to be Asian or black or anything like that. You know, it's the same kind of thing. There's nothing. Hey, if you if you think you need awareness about your own uh, minority, anything, whether that's orientation, race, or whatever. If you think you need, there needs to be more awareness about that, then create more stories, create more characters, or go and find the characters that actually already exist and shed some more light on them. Sense of diversity. Falcon. Falcon should be absolutely showcased as the hero that he is, not knocked down, you know, off the ladder and just said, well, you're not special unless you've got the Captain America label. You know, that that's that's a complete slap in the face of the character. Other minority character you want, you either create your own or you find characters out there who are already that and try to bolster them. But the woke ideologues don't want that. They don't want that because they're lazy. They're not very good writers themselves, either because they, they just can't from the beginning or they've just kind of sacrificed that creativity to the agendas. They want to take the shortcut. They want to take and they want to look at whatever whatever mythologies you are already looking at, whatever you're already focusing on and already celebrating. They want to get in there and change that before your eyes because you, you're already looking at it. So they don't have to do any work. You know, they just want to. Hey, there's already an audience here. Let's just go monkey with whatever they're looking at so that they're looking at the right things. No, that doesn't work. People aren't going to continue to look at that for that reason, and you're going to, to to end up ruining something that was beautiful. So that's the first the first type that that is doing this enforced sexualization, is the type that just wants to see current mythologies, current characters and mythologies made gay or made trans or made whatever the minority is that they want to do.